asked me if I was going to a birthday party and if he was invited. I laughed it off nervously. Oh, uh, whoa! Whoa, what the fuck? All right, hello. Um, <laughs> shit. I just got off of the Red Mist uh, reaction or whatever, and um, I don't know why I'm proceeding to watch more scary shit after this already unnerved me enough, but we're here to watch some five true Walmart horror stories. If you guys want to see original videos, in the link in the description. It is by Nighttime Spooks, his first video I've seen on his channel. Uh, I just saw the recommendation, so without further ado, let's do it. I worked at a grocery store for a little bit. It wasn't great <laughs> it was not a great time but so i think i would have some fun watching this in some way i don't think we're gonna watch the whole thing i might leave the last two stories out so if you guys will see that all the rest of the stories will be on his channel so let's do it walmart's a scary place too for the, of, for the people that come in there and the amount of stories i've heard from people who work there like fuck this happened on an early sunday morning at around 7 30 a.m i decided to go to walmart for some shopping Okay. I went there at that time to specifically avoid the rush of people that would be in the store all day, especially on a weekend. Oh my god, yeah. I went into the store, grabbed a cart, and started going through the aisles. And we're just bumping into each other and shit. It's a such a headache. Scattered around. Everything seemed normal until I made my way to the dish soap aisle. There, and then, the like, those people would just sit in the fucking aisle, and then you have to try to get around them or do anything, but they just sit there. They just they don't do anything. So you have to, like, go all the way around in the next aisle, and then the aisle's packed, so you go to the next aisle. It's a pain in the ass. I go at a certain time, so I don't run into this shit. Under my eye, I spotted this heavy set guy who seemed to be just sitting there, and it was super strange. The guy was, like, sitting on the edge of the aisle and just staring at me. I shook it off, thinking maybe he's just sitting there for some reason. I moved on, but that's when things started to get weird. I noticed the guy following me out of the aisle, keeping a distance of about 20 feet. He continued to follow me throughout the store as I got other items. He was always a few steps behind, no matter where I went in the store. It was like he was shadowing me, and I couldn't help but feel annoyed and also creeped out. I tried my best to just ignore him, but the longer it went on, the more uneasy I became. Oh, it's in the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, he kept hearing shit, man. I was like, what the fuck? All right, I get, yeah. Glances over my shoulder, and there he was, trailing me like a lost dog. The minutes felt like hours as I continued my shopping, and I was aware of his presence the entire time. I finished up, which didn't take that much longer. When I was finally done shopping, I went over to the self-checkout area. I was planning to tell one of the employees that worked there at the self-checkouts about the man following me. But when I arrived... I looked behind me to see that he was now gone. I guessed that he had stopped, and that was a good sight. Yeah, okay. I scanned and then paid for all of my items. Then I walked out of the Walmart yep. and headed for my car in the parking lot. He's going to be in the car, isn't he? He's parked sort of in the back, which is where I typically park. But when I got to within about 50 feet of my car, I saw the man again. The strange thing was that he was just standing there, like 10 feet away from my car, in front of it. He was already staring at me as well. I have no idea how he knew which car was mine. There were no other cars parked in any of the immediate spaces surrounding my car. Fuck that. This was really strange. I wasn't quite sure what to do, and I sort of froze where I was. The man had his eyes on me the entire time. I decided to just keep walking towards my car. Although I walked slow, I was ready to run if the man decided to go near me. But he didn't. Eventually, I made it to my car. The man was still staring at me as I got inside, what the and he fuck? didn't take his eyes off me the entire time. I started my engine and then left. Okay, the man cool. kept standing there in the parking lot, staring at me as I did. I drove away and never saw him again. That remains my creepiest experience that I ever had at Walmart. Fuck that. Hardcore drugs. That's what it has to be, right? Oh, people are so fucking weird, man. What the fuck? I'm glad he just got in his car and took off. I didn't know if he's gonna start chucking at him or running at him, but damn, he even knew what car he drove and everything. Oh my god, yeah, I'd definitely report him or something. I'd make sure I'm, I'd check everything, make sure that motherfucker didn't follow you in some type of capacity or whatever. But he immediately knew what car you had. He probably, oh fuck, and he might even have the license plate and shit like that. Fuck that. Oh, that's rough. I used to work at a Walmart. It wasn't exactly my dream job, but I didn't mind it that much either. Most of the time that I worked there was after close. I would work in the back, organizing and getting products, and then I would often bring them to the sales floor and to the shelves. I did this for all sections of the store. During the time of this story, I had been working there for about six months already, so I was pretty familiar with the place. It was a weeknight at probably about midnight, 
I was a few hours into my shift and was in the back room of the store. I was getting items that would be put on the shelves of the store when I heard a loud noise. It was like a thud and it was coming from the back room area right near where I was. I couldn't really tell exactly where the noise was coming from though. I looked around but didn't see anything. The noise startled me pretty good because nobody else was back there with me. I finished what I was doing in silence and then went out to stock the shelves. I returned a while later to get more items in around the same area in the back. About 15 minutes into doing that, I once again heard another loud thud. I still couldn't pinpoint exactly where the sound was coming from. There were lots of shelves back there and many products and equipment all around. There were countless places where somebody could hide if they wanted to, and I knew that. Then I heard the noise once more. I looked around, still seeing nothing, and then I got up. I walked over to the direction of what where think it, the noise was coming from. Think one of the I boys are fucking there, with I you? I couldn't see anything there. I looked all around. I didn't know if I was in the right spot. I was just guessing. I asked if anybody was there, but got no reply. Things were extremely quiet. I just shook my head and then went back to work. I wasn't really sure what I could do about it. I got more products to put on the shelves. And the entire time I was back there, though, I will admit, I was pretty scared. Yeah. I didn't hear the noise again, though, and I finished up as fast as possible. Then I went back out into the store. Eventually, I had to go to the back room yet again, in the same area that I had been in. I would be working there for most of the night. When I made it into the back again, by now it was almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I was there for no more than 10 minutes before hearing the loud noise another time. See, I would this think, like, it's somebody fucking with you, but the thing is, like... Who is going to be out there at that time of night to go and fuck with you? Most people would have their asses in bed, right? Like, I don't think anybody would be up to, in tonight just to waste their time doing that. Or maybe they would. Maybe they would. I, I could, you know, I could see it happening. Okay, I retract that statement. This time, I jumped up. I was determined to know who was doing this. I ran over to the area, calling out, Who's doing that? as I was running. But when I got closer, I really had no idea where it was. Mm -hmm. There were so many aisles of shelves back there. I knew it had been a distance away from me, but not all that far. I looked up and down, left and right, all around me, and I still didn't see anyone. I went into one of the little aisles that we had back there. Then I quietly looked around. As I was there, suddenly there was a noise. It wasn't a thud or a loud noise, though. It was a whisper. Hey. No, no. Hey, you. No. Somebody was whispering from the next aisle over. I immediately ran out of there. Yeah, and ran all okay, the way thank back God. out and into the store. I then found the nearest employee. He saw how I was shaken up and he asked me what was going on. We both ended up going back to look around. I felt a little better with another person there, but we still didn't find anyone. Did you guys see we some also type didn't protection? Hear any noises back there either. I ended up working the rest of my shift in fear. But yeah. Nothing more happened. I'm not sure if that was a person who hid back there since we had closed or what. That would be my best guess. They possibly kept hiding back there or left when I ran out. I don't know who or why, though. Maybe it was just to scare me. Oh, yeah. Maybe something else. I'll say, or maybe you just have friends who are just yeah, have some co asshole co-workers who want to do that. That's what it sounds like it might be, right? Even though it sounds like, I feel like maybe someone wouldn't because I don't feel like they would want to waste their time or whatever doing that or whatever at the time to do that, especially 2 a.m., bro. Who's, who's doing that shit at 2 a.m.? But some people do. Some people do. And, I mean, if there's some people in the store with you, maybe they just stayed back and they watched. We're going to pull this funny-ass prank. And then when, you know, basically you went away and they darted dur dur out. Oh, that would have been so dirty if they would have found that out later. <laughs> damn it, Bill! God damn it! I told you to stop fucking around in <laughs> there. <t> <laughs> They have like a voice body later, like what Scream has. I quit my job at Walmart not too long after this. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't say that was the incident Damn. that caused they, me to quit. Oh, they, they think they, I'm, I, it might be someone fuck with you, man. Maybe they wanted to pull a sick prank. This could be just a sick prank scenario. And they're like, watch, this is going to be a great bet. And then, yeah, because they knew you were going to quit anyways. This is probably the last story we'll watch. I'm a female. Last year, I wanted to get a quick birthday card for my friend. Okay. I stopped at a Walmart thinking that I could go in quickly get a card and then leave. I parked and went inside, walking straight for the greeting cards. They were sort of in the middle of the store. The store was actually not that busy, but of course there were some customers around. When I got to the card aisle, nobody else was in it, and I began searching for a decent card for my friend. I had to look at quite a few, many of them I didn't like. I was focused on this and reading the insides of them, when suddenly I heard a voice directly behind me. 
what you're looking at. This surprised me because I hadn't known anybody else was in the aisle with me. I turned around to see a man standing there less than a foot away. He was around my height, but appeared to be much older than me and he was wearing a hat. I told him that I was just getting a card. He then stared at me with a creepy grin for like five seconds straight. Okay. I started to turn back around when he spoke again. He asked me if I was going to a birthday party and if he was invited. I laughed it off nervously. Ah, uh, whoa! Whoa, what the fuck? Okay. I thought it was just gonna be like a casual conversation. You someone just make a conversation, not. Or he's gonna pull out a knife and say, Wait, I got keys right here. I'm invited to his birthday party, right? Me and you, we're going to his birthday party type of thing. I don't know what if that's where that's going. It might be. I might have just called it, but fuck. Fuck that. I'll be like, Yeah, yeah. Dark the fuck out. Bro, fuck that. Thinking this was a really creepy thing to say. Yeah, very. I decided that the card that I had. Or maybe it's just a horrible joke. Because that could be more likely a horrible joke, yeah. This was good enough. Really, I just wanted to get out of there and away from him. Yeah. I told the man that I was in a hurry and I needed to leave. Just, give, just get your friend one of those corny-ass birthday cards or whatever, saying, like, this card has a cake on it, saying you can, have a, uh, you can have a cake and eat it too, or whatever. I don't know. Get something like one of those. The man started walking right along with me. Okay, let's go, I remember him saying. Fuck you. This really freaked me out. Did he think he was coming with me? I walked almost as fast as I could over to the checkouts, but the man was it's able to be keep a up birthday with me. party crasher. When I had almost made it there, I changed my mind at the last second and decided to walk to the back side of the store. I just didn't want the guy around me. I especially didn't want him following me out to my car. Yeah. I thought maybe he would get the hint and leave me alone. The guy seemed confused by my sudden change of direction but turned to follow me. Fuck. I walked all the way I'm to the I'm gonna say, you don't you want to go through, like, makeup and tooth wouldn't you want to go to, like, the employees or whatever? That's why I thought, like, maybe going to more of the front of the store because all the employees are there. Maybe you could have some protection. Going to the back leaves you kind of unprotected there, doesn't it? Based on those kind of items. Then I turned and headed for the back. I couldn't believe it, but the man was still behind me. Oh, fuck. That's when I saw a Walmart employee. Oh, I was almost God. in the back corner, and there was a man working near the auto park. Just start making conversations with the Walmart employee. I told him that there was a guy following me, and he wouldn't leave me alone. I started to hear the man denying it as the employee approached. That allowed me to get away. I kept walking and made a left into an aisle and out of sight of the man. I quickly then walked into the middle of the store and then turned to go back to the front. When Did I he got come within with? maybe two aisles of the front of the store, suddenly the same guy leaped Shit. out from behind a corner. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know where he had come from. I screamed and sprinted away from the man. <laughs> I seemed to surprise him, and he didn't immediately chase after me. Another employee happened to sort of be in the area and asked what was going on. Less than a minute later, the store security was there. Apparently, when the other employee questioned the man, he had ran away, so the employee called security. It was a whole scene, and the police ended up getting called. Unfortunately, the guy ran out of the store right away before security could get him, though. Needless to say, I haven't been back to a Walmart since. Yeah, go to Myers. Myers, Kroger's, what other stores are there? Walgreens, Lion's Den, Chick fil A, Burger King. <laughs> Just go anywhere, any other place besides Walmart, right? Just go to any other place. There's gotta be other options, right? Fuck that shit, bro. Oh my god, fuck that. Creepy ass dude trying to, I was like, you know, I genuinely thought it was gonna be like, oh, he was kidding around or whatever. No, he's just, he, he wanted to come to this birthday party, be a birthday party crasher or whatever. What even cards was he looking for? Did he even get a card? Because he was over an aisle, right? I wonder if he was actually looking at him. <laughs> what was he getting a card for? Was he gonna get his friend a birthday card too and say, hey, let's go together. <laughs> let's go visit your friend. Was he like, was he just to like, use him to get pick up girls? Like, what was he trying to do? I don't know. Obviously, there's probably some bad attention there. I don't know what he expected the dude was gonna say. Like, oh, you know, if I asked you to go to the birthday party with him, he'll just bring me along. He's gonna think this is not like, weird at all. Fucking weird people, man. What the fuck? <laughs> If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Go check out the last two stories on uh, Nighttime Spooks uh, channel. I enjoyed this video. Thought a great video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.